Okay, so firstly, uh, how's life changed since turning pro? Uh, well, takes up a lot more of my time. Works obviously a lot harder because I've got to go training. It's, it's like having to go to work twice, you know, coming home and then straight to the gym. As a matter of fact, I don't even go home. I come straight from work, straight to the gym. Uh, and when you're training for a fight, you got to go running in the morning, obviously, a minimum three mile run, which should take you about half hour, but it's not the matter of the half hour that it takes you. You got to get ready. You got to come back, and get washed. If you do wash, unlike myself, I don't wash. You say so it don't make no difference. And then, how's the training been going with Ben Jones? Um, it's great sparring for me. With the same, give or take a kilo, with the same weight. It's great sparring as well. He's very, very experienced. Um, personally, I don't think I could pick anybody better to push me forward. And I've progressed with Ben in leaps and bounds. If I could, if I could have a video of when I started with him and a video of me now, people would say, "Wow!" But that's not all due to him as well. Also, we've got our trainer George Brown, and I've done a little bit with Ross. And then March fourth, you make your pro debut, headlining a great card at the Connacht Rooms. How do you feel about that? Ah, uh, obviously I feel great about it. I can't wait. I'm training. Well, excuse my French, my ass off. Because I want to do the best I can. I don't want to disappoint anybody, especially not myself, you know. Because there's a, any man's any man's dangerous, you know. And then, what are your plans uh, for 2017? Obviously, you don't want to look past your first opponent. But oh, listen. Where do you think boxing can take you? This year, I'd love to. I'd love to win as many fights as I can. I'd like to get five fights under my belt by the end of the year. Uh, if any titles come up, I won't turn any fights down, but I'm definitely not going to be stupid. You know, I'm not going to finish my career to help someone else. That's for sure. Yeah. And then, if, do you want to talk about life outside of boxing, working? If you want to talk about it, I'll do, talk about it. Yeah, so just, uh, what, do you, what were you doing before you turned pro, and what kind of work do you do at the moment? At the moment, I've got a mobile home park in... I've got two now, as a matter of fact. I've got one in Dunstable, and I've got one in Basildon which they don't take much running to be fair um, obviously you've got the maintenance the ground works and things like that um, I used to go out selling teak garden furniture before that this is the summer uh, we used to do shows like exhibition shows like the, the uh, what's it called the grand designs we used to have a stand at the grand designs selling garden furniture and before then I've done all sorts of different jobs. Where do you want me to start with beer all day, honestly? <laughs> no, no.